Hello everybody, happy um, Sunday. Today is a meal prep Sunday and I'm also gonna share with you my menu plan for the week. And along with that, um, what I'm gonna make today. And I thought I'd go on and throw out my video schedule for the week as well. However, let me just throw it out there. I, you know, the schedule is subject to change depending on how life goes. And that's just how life is a large family and a special needs family goes. So here we go. Um, let's start with, I guess, the menu for the week. This is just Monday through Friday. So Monday we are gonna do eggplant parmesan with some crusty bread, steamed veggies, and cookies. Tuesday, we are gonna do BLT sliders, home fries, corn on the cob, and a cake roll. On Wednesday, we are gonna do Bourbon Street chicken with rice, stirred fried veggies, and we're gonna make funnel cakes. On Thursday, we're gonna do chicken and dumpling casserole with salad and a jello poke cake. And Friday, we're gonna do chicken green bean stuffing casserole with rolls, peach pie, and steamed veggies. Then the weekend, it will be what it will be. So the menu plan, or the video plan for the week is a meatless Monday. So um, a full day of meals, but a meatless Monday variety. Tuesday is gonna be a two for Tuesday. We have not done one of those in a while, so we're gonna do one of those this Tuesday. Wednesday is gonna be Weight Loss Wednesday. Thursday is going to be full day of meals. Friday, I'm going to do a what's for dinner because I'm bringing that back. You guys have requested that, so I am gonna bring that back. Saturday is gonna be vintage and Sunday meal prep again. So that's the plan for the week. Okay, so what we're gonna go on and meal prep then is we're gonna make some caramel sauce so that the kids have that for dipping apples in throughout the week, um, whether in their lunches or for snacks. And then we're gonna make muffins. The muffins, I'm just using box muffin mix and I will show you the kinds that I'm gonna make. And then we're gonna make a smoothie bag to go with that so I can just throw the smoothie in in the morning. And then another day we're going to do scrambled eggs with the muffin instead of a protein smoothie. Um, we are gonna make pancakes and sausage. And I'm gonna try and make those kind of like sandwiches like McGriddles would be, where it's pancake, sausage, pancake, and then they can just heat that and go. We're going to make salad cups because they have all requested Caesar salad. We're gonna wrap some tortillas and chicken together. Um, we also roasted um, or smoked two whole chickens last night and I filmed that for you guys and we're gonna shred that up today and I will use that in a variety of the meals that I described that we're gonna have throughout the week. Make some cookie dough and get that in the freezer so all I gotta do is pop and bake. We're gonna make some barbecue chicken, just throwing some of the chicken and barbecue sauce in a crock pot and we will probably just have that tonight with some sandwiches. And then some um, crusty bread. The crusty bread, we are gonna start that today. That's gonna go with the chicken parmesan tomorrow. But it is a very rustic um, recipe. So what you do is you make it the day before and you leave it for one or two days. So we're only gonna leave it for one. And you don't mess with it. It rises and it just sits for one to two days. So then tomorrow night you'll see me finish that in our full day of meals. So that's it, let's get cooking. All right, so first thing that we did was throw a couple chickens into our smoker. So I will use these for a variety of things throughout the week, including some chicken Caesar salad, uh, just different things that we're doing. And then next I'm going to go on and make these muffins. I have chocolate chip, blueberry, and cranberry orange. And here they are right out of the oven. And then to go with these, one day I'm gonna do scrambled eggs and the other day I'm gonna do a smoothie. So here is meal prepping the smoothie. This is a secret that I learned from watching Pick Up Limes. And if you take a zucchini, peel it, and chop it up and freeze it, you can add that to your smoothie and it just adds the creaminess the same as a banana does and you don't taste it at all and it's a great way to sneak in some veggies. So I'm taking one zucchini, 
My husband is sitting here as I'm voicing over, giving me the look of, I'm not eating that again. <laughs> and then I am put in two bananas. I will be making this for a lot of people. And then some frozen pineapple. frozen peaches and then what I'll do is I will just add some milk almond milk coconut milk whatever kind of milk I want and then a scoop of protein powder and this will be ready to go I'm also adding some unsweetened coconut then I'm just gonna zip this up and put it in the freezer And now I'm going to move on to the chicken. So I have this big ice cream tub because that actually held both chickens whole very good. And then this morning I went ahead and shredded that up since we cooked those last night. And I am putting some in three different bags. So that way I have it ready for the three recipes that I'm doing. The chicken and dumpling casserole, the chicken and... Uh, green bean stuffing casserole and the Bourbon Street chicken. And then I'm going to take, I have four tortillas left, so I'm going to go on and take those and put a little bit of the chicken and cheese this chicken is so flavorful because we put it in the smoker that you really don't need any kind of barbecue sauce or anything like that with it it just has such good flavor all by itself so I'm just doing the chicken the cheese and I'm gonna roll these up and I'm gonna put these in a baggie in the freezer and I will send a couple of those with Charles and a couple with William for their lunches And then I'm going to move on to making the sausage like McGriddles home version. So I'm just going to start putting my sausage on the pan so I can put it in the oven. And I'm just gonna go on and bake that at 350 degrees until the sausage is done. Next, we're gonna go on and make the pancakes. So I will have this recipe for you down in the description box below. And you're gonna take your flour, your baking powder. I actually got this recipe out of my 1950s cookbook and it is really our favorite pancake recipe. So also add the salt, stir that together. And then we're gonna go on and add our milk. 
one beaten egg and melted butter. Then just stir that up really good. And then I like to spray my pan, even though I don't think you really need to because I have such a, a good nonstick pan, but I still like to anyway, just give it a little spray. And then as soon as that heats up, I'm gonna add just by little spoonfuls to make the pancakes because I want them to be little to make the sandwiches. Then once they're good and bubbly, you just flip them. And then to assemble the pancakes, sandwiches, all you do is I'm gonna take one pancake, a drop of syrup, put on my sausage, and then top it with another pancake. And that's it. Now on to the cookie dough. It is a mint chocolate chip cookies. So starting with our shortening and then adding the sugar and you're gonna cream that together. Again, this recipe will be listed down below in the description. Once that's creamed together, you're gonna add an egg yolk. And then the vanilla and the peppermint extract. The salt and milk. Baking powder and the flour. Once that is good and mixed up, I just added a few chocolate chips and stirred it in. And then I'm just gonna roll it into tiny balls so that way I can just have small cookies. And I'm doing that with all the dough and popping it in the freezer. Once it's frozen, I can switch it over to a plastic bag and then I have those ready to go. If you don't want to freeze them and just bake them, you just need to chill them in the fridge for about an hour before baking. And the caramel. I do know how to make caramel and I have a wonderful recipe, but this did not turn out. I was trying a new recipe and it was like sugar. So I am not sharing that with you because I don't want you to make it. <laughs> so let's move on to the salad cups. 
So for the salad cups, I get these containers off Amazon. And all I'm doing is filling the bottom with lettuce. So I fill this tall container about halfway. Then I'm going to add some of this canned Parmesan. And then I have these other small containers that I get off of Amazon. And I'm going to fill that with croutons and the, the Caesar salad dressing. And I just put those right on top of the lettuce. And that way everything just stays together as one kit. And then I put a lid over top of it and that's ready to go. I just need to add a fork. And now my daughter is helping with making the crunchy bread. It's a French baguette. And we are going to make a double recipe because we want four loaves for our family. This is so good and it's so easy. The longer you let it sit, the better it turns out. So she's starting off with 10 cups of flour. And we will show you making the dough, but then we are actually going to finish it tomorrow. We will just have it sit for one night, but you could leave it for two or three days. The longer, the better. You get more air bubbles in it that way. And then she's adding five cups of water. And she's going to add the yeast and the salt. And that's it. That's your only ingredients. This is a very, very budget-friendly recipe also. So to see part two, just join us tomorrow for our full day of Meatless Monday meals. And she's just gonna give that a stir, and then she's gonna get in with her hands and start to mix it. I had to put the camera down so that I could add a little more flour for her because if it gets too sticky you just add a little bit more flour but as you see her hands were a little covered to do it herself. And she is the one who makes this for us and she loves to do it all by hand not use any kind of a machine. And then she rolled it out and kneaded it for about 10 minutes on the counter. And then you just put it back in your bowl and cover it and set it somewhere to rise until tomorrow or when you're ready. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to give a big thumbs up so I know that you want more of these meal preps on Sundays and I will see all of you tomorrow. Bye everybody.